T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Reviewing Marvel Legends series Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Mantis build a figure wave nebula. I know I'm titling this as a, a chill review, but this is going to be more off the cuff. I'm not going to be doing all my editing that I normally do. So whatever mistakes are going to stay in here forever. Uh, it's late. I just got off of a live chat on Rube the Great's channel. You should definitely check him out. I'm going to put a link in the description and a link at the end of the video. So after you finish watching this, click give that link a click. And we were talking about Spider-Man Homecoming. It was me and three other gentlemen there as guests. Give it a click so you can see what was going on there. Support Rube. Anyway, this figure right here, as far as looks and detail, it gives me hopes as far as the future is concerned. Like, look at this. Usually we will only see this level of detail in like something that's like a DC collectibles and whatnot. But man, they put out all the stops for this figure right here as far as detail and paint. Like you can see this dark, like almost oily pattern right there on like different parts of her suit or whatnot. I'm not sure if that's just the design of the suit or whether something did spill on her, but that's some nice detail right here. And this face is definitely, definitely nice. All the different colors, just like the movie. Freaking awesome. Here's the back detail. I don't like that she doesn't really have a butt. It's like sunk in and everything. She had more of a, an alluring figure in the movie <laughs> than she looks here. She is like very, very freaking skinny. She shares a lot of the same problems that the original Gamora had with the original wave of Cinematic Universes, um, Guardians of the Galaxy figures. But she could have definitely used bi bicep swivel. And I, I, I would love double jointed elbows, but I'm, I'm going to stop talking about double jointed elbows. We all know they don't give the female figures double jointed elbows. But bicep swivel, she definitely suffers because... Look at how the arm is molded. None of the other female figures are molded like that. So when she turns out, it just looks weird. And when you're trying to do things like aim the gun, you got to, her arm turns at a weird angle. So you got to compensate. And I don't like the way they did this right here. The lack of that double jointed elbow made them have to end the, the feature she has with this little extra accessory I'll talk about later. They had to put the, the elbow pad up here. So that looks ugly to me. That is the main thing that just looks straight up ugly. For some reason over here, they gave her the roll of the dice motion right there. I mean, I guess technically she is supposed to be holding this gun over here. I like the way she holds it in the left hand better. That's why I put it over there. So I guess she could pose the gun differently in that hand. But you would think she would have a sword if they're going to give her the roll of the dice right there. My main thing that I don't like, and I say that I'm not, I said I wasn't going to do a bunch of editing, but I see some stuff that I'm going to take out like this stupid camera blurring up on me. Um... Only other thing that I have a problem with as far as this figure is he's very stiff in the torso like this piece right here they molded it so that it's loose so but when she turns it turns with her i wish it didn't do that so you could if you want to leave her abdomen like that and just turn the diaphragm but her being stiff like the original gamora the diaphragm barely does anything all the other females i've been reviewing lately actually i didn't review gamora like Gamora has an excellent diaphragm, and Jessica Jones has one, but she just has this. Now, the head is good at looking up, 
and looking down and whatnot. Not too much, no pivot at all, really. I showed off this articulation right there. This wrist goes in and out. She kicks decent enough high, and she can kick back, actually. And all these figures are getting wider spreads, but she has this thing. I haven't seen that since the All Father Wave, um, what's her name? Wasp. No, 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 not Wasp. Scarlet Witch, where that looks ugly. And they also are molding the hips differently with these new figures. So you can do this. You couldn't do this before with the previous Marvel Legends. She has bicep, I mean, thigh rotation, double jointed knees. The knee kind of looks weird because of the way it's molded. Excellent, well, decent ankle pivot. It swivels outward a little bit more than I would like. But she can definitely due to the way that's molded, kick up very freaking high, and kick back. Her other accessory, you pull this arm piece off, and this represents something that happens in the movie where she has to wind up with this arm right here. And so you can see this. That's what you're working with right here. So she can still use that as a hand. It still functions as a hand. And so you can see this. Yeah. There's a lot of detail on that hand. It's not painted all the way to the edge, but it's good enough. So, if you like Nebula, this is an awesome figure to look at. She has awesome posability in her legs. It's just mainly the diaphragm killing it. And these odd shoulders that I don't like. I could work around these shoulders by twisting it and rotating it. But this diaphragm just makes her so stiff. And this lifeless, lifeless stare. No expression. I wish instead of just this arm, they would have given her an angry face. Or at least a face where she's half smiling or something like Gamora and Star-Lord have. But it's a cool figure. Or a decent enough figure, I should say. Like, she isn't the 100% best out of this wave. But she does look, look good. Anywho, if you like this video, let me know by clicking the like button. Let me know in the comments. Let me know by sharing and subscribing. Until next time, T-Man 978, out of here. Thank you for watching.